Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my May favorites. Ah, oh, May, oh my gosh, cannot believe it's May. Oh, I sound so stupid because that's what everyone says. Who doesn't be like, oh May, can't believe another year is... Christine, can you talk right? Just ignore me guys, okay. Anyway, so May favorites. I just did a video of my summer beauty must-haves and I'll link that below. Um, I don't want, I didn't want it to have any crossovers because, um, the summer beauty must-haves are kind of just the thing, the products I stick to in the summer, and the May favorites, like my monthly favorites, are kind of things that I, this month in particular, have really maybe discovered or rediscovered and just really, really love to use. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, I guess the first thing everyone looks for in summertime is tanning and I do lay out in the sun but I do wear a lot of SPF so I don't get a lot of color that way which is good um so I do use uh the Jurgens natural glow uh ones and these are kind of my favorite of like the gradual self tanning uh lotions I don't use a self like a regular self tanner because I don't know I just can't get the hand of it I and the mess, I get splotchy and I just don't have the patience for it. So I use these and uh, the ones I have here, this one is the old, older one I got, I think last year. And this is the Daily Moisturizer and designed for medium skin tones. Um, if you guys know me, you know that I am paper white. I may be coming across a little bit tanner, a little bit normal color in this video, but I might also be washed out, I don't know. Um, because the light is behind me, but when the light shines on me, I am blinding, I swear. Uh, but yeah, so the, I like the one for the medium skin tones, so I use this, and then every once in a while I'll use the, um, this one I got this year is the firming one in the medium to tan skin tones. But I like the ones that are a little bit darker than me, because I don't have to use it as often, and I find the lighter one just doesn't really work that well, and kind of gets a little splotchy. So I like these two. Um... For moisturizer, I've been using, I love this moisturizer. It's the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Facial Moisturizer. Um, and it looks like this. It comes in a tub. If you're like a germaphobe, I wouldn't use this because you do have to put your hands into it. I don't care. I'm the only one using it. And I use it after I wash my face and my hands are clean. Um, but it just looks like this. And it's a fairly lightweight moisturizer um, that I like for the daytime and sometimes at night if I'm not using a super thick cream. Um, but this smells like apples. Not like fake apple um, scent, like real apples. It is so great. It's so fresh. And it's lightweight. I have um, a kind of oily, a combination to oily skin, and I really, really like this. I can smell, oh, it's like that, it's if you want uh, apple, if you've ever been apple picking and you smell the smell of, like, all the apples, like, that's exactly what it smells like. It's perfect. Another um, a hair product that I've been using is the Bumble and Bumble Curl Conscious Curl Cream. Um, I don't know, it's kind of just all these words on it, and I use this when I get out of the shower. I don't brush my hair. I will just put some of this into my hand and kind of just um, scrunch it through and it uh, just leaves a nice beachy like one or two waves. Not like really wavy like if you need a curling iron but just like one or two waves. So this kind of just keeps my hair from you know falling flat I would say. So I really like this and just um, I can't really like put it in my hair and sleep on it and it comes out good. It's just kind of like one of those things that like I, I shower during the day after a workout and then I'm going out later that night and don't want to like put heat on my hair so I really like this and it's not like a mousse or um a gel it's just a cream that's really nice so I like that also um another hair-esque product that I kind of just recently discovered is coconut oil I know that I read watched Nikki Philip P. Fully B. I can't, don't know how to say her name. Um, she did this whole segment on coconut oil and I was very intrigued by it. Typed some stuff into YouTube and just found a ton of videos on it. Um, basically it's like a miracle product. And if you like coconut, like I do, I love coconut. It smells so good. But it's a solid oil. It's solid. 
and then you put it in your hands and it instantly like melts into a liquid it's really cool um and stuff like this you can put it in your hair for a deep conditioner and then i'll do a separate video on that actually um moisturize your skin me and my mom have been using it it's like a dietary dietary oh my god speak christine a dietary supplement and it um we put it a tablespoon of it in like our smoothies or something it's supposed to boost your metabolism um and in this it says adults take one tablespoon three times daily with meals or is directed with your health care practitioner uh they say to start out with like one tablespoon a day because it kind of just goes right through you i'll leave that to your imagination uh <laughs> But yeah, so I just recently started getting into this and really enjoying it and kind of I'm excited to explore the different options that I can use this for. And you can get this. I got this at Wegmans. I think it's at Whole Foods. A lot of um, health food stores or um, you may be able to get it at um, like a drugstore. What am I thinking? What word? The vitamin store like GNC or something like that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I really like this. Um, and you can, I'll link Nikki's video down below, because she gives a lot of stuff you can do with it, and you can just really just type coconut oil into YouTube, and there's a ton of things you can do with it. So I might do something with hair for that one. Uh, next thing, beauty product, is this Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in, um, Papaya. And it's really this orangey-pink color. It's so, so pretty, and I'm wearing it on my lips now. Let me swatch it for you. It's really pigmented. Look how pigmented that is. It's so pretty. Ooh. It smells really good. Sometimes when I'm like smelling it, I like use all my breath and can't breathe. That smells really good. It kind of smells like cake. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. I really like this. Um, I may, I'm more intrigued by more of these, but for now, I really like this. I kind of want to get this, the one in strawberry, but I felt they're kind of similar. But I like this. has, like, an orange tinge to it, which is kind of on trend with, like, the orange lips type of deal. Um, and that's kind of it for my beauty products, if you will. Um, I have two other things I want to talk about. Um, this is something I had gotten for Christmas. Um, and it, I got it from my mom. She loved these. Um, it's a candle. Um, and this is in Love Spell. It's a dupe for Love Spell from Victoria's Secret, which if you don't know it, it is a kind of grapefruit, a sweet, uh, grapefruit, uh, kind of smelling candle. It's, I, I, I want this in the perfume, in the lotion. I, I never liked this scent until I started burning it. But the cool thing about this candle is that when you burn it, um, you can either pour the wax into your hand or dip your hand in it. You know, if you always, people always do that. They put their finger in it and it hardens. But the cool thing with this is that it doesn't harden. You use it as a lotion, a body lotion, and it um, is really moisturizing. My mom likes it because her hands are really dry. So she got one for me and all my sisters, and I really, really like it. And it's not, um, it's a soy candle, so it's not super hot. Um, it doesn't it's not super strong smelling so if you don't like very strong smelling candles which I do but my mom doesn't so I can't really burn it in my house but this is great I'm obsessed with this and they come like they all my mom has one it's a different one it's like a gin, ginseng tea one and this one they all have like cute quotes on the back this says I will show you a love potion without drug or or herb or any witch's spell if you wish to be love love and this is from rencandle.com, R-E-N candle.com. Um, they have a another one, it's called Scandal, S-C-A-N-D-L-E, um, dot com, which I think also has them. I'll link this below, because I think you should check them out. They're really cool. The last thing I want to talk about is a book that I just read, and I want to recommend this to absolutely everyone, especially if you read The Hunger Games, because... I know I read The Hunger Games, the whole entire series, in three days. <laughs> um, and I was looking for something new that was kind of similar. And this book that I picked up, and I don't have the book with me because I was reading it on my Kindle, and it's called Delirium, and it's by Lauren Oliver, I believe her name is. 
and basically it's about um, set in the future of the United States and they live in Maine I believe they live in um, oh my gosh hold on is this like a lip plumping because this is burning my skin weird sorry anyway so I live in a dystopian kind of future where the government has decided that the feeling of love is a disease it leads to um, like a delirium it could kill and it's basically a, a disease and when everyone turns in society turns 18 they get a surgical procedure where a part of their brain is cut out that creates love and it surrounds the story surrounds this one girl and she her mother was her mother committed suicide because she, she the procedure wouldn't work on her so she was still she loved and like that wasn't allowed so basically they would come to lock her up so she killed herself and her daughter who the story surrounds kind of her whole life wanted to get the procedure couldn't wait couldn't wait because she saw what it did to her mom she went crazy and killed herself you know so they say it's what love does and then like I think it's like 95 days before her procedure she falls in love and it's kind of just this um whole story about that it's really cool it's a really really good book uh kind of on the same lines of the hunger games not that the plot is anywhere similar but it kind of draws you in that way like i couldn't put it down it was so so good and i want everyone to read it it's really good um but it's the first book in a trilogy and the next one doesn't come out till next march and i don't know what to do with myself so I kind of want to talk to people about it. So everyone should read it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. I, um, yeah. So if you guys have any favorites, definitely um, let me know and share them with me. If you guys want to see my, so I'm going to link different videos down at the bottom. It'll be my summer beauty must-haves will be down there. My, um, the Nikki video about coconut oil and then I'll do the candle link down too so hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys later bye